Why are our oceans important? The five oceans on Earth play a huge part in keeping our planet healthy. They produce half of the world's oxygen and absorb half of all man-made carbon dioxide. Water on Earth is constantly moving. It is recycled over and over again in a process called the water cycle. The water are constantly moving around in patterns called currents, which cycle water from one place to another, over and over again. This is important in regulating the Earth's climate and weather. But water doesn't move around just in the oceans. It also moves around through the air. The sun heats up water on land, in rivers, lakes and seas and turns it into an invisible gas called water vapor. This process is called evaporation. The warm water vapor rises high into the sky. Up there, the air is cold and so the vapor begins to cool down again. As it cools, it condenses, which means it turns back into liquid water drops again. These water drops float around the sky in clouds, blown by the wind. The drops join together to make bigger, heavier drops. When they get big and heavy enough, they fall back to the earth again as rain. Sometimes, the drops get so cold that they freeze and fall as snow or hail. Rain that falls on hills and mountains runs down towards the sea, making streams and rivers. On lower ground, rain fills up lakes, pools and puddles. Plants soak up the rainwater through their roots, whereas animals and people drink the water. Most of the rainwater ends up back in the sea. At any moment, 97% of all the water on the earth is in the ocean. But wherever the rain falls, when the sun comes out from behind the clouds and shines, water vapor begins to evaporate again. It is recycled over and over again in a process called the water cycle. Why our oceans matter? The ocean covers over 70% of the Earth's surface, and play an important role in keeping our planet's temperature and weather, in balance. Some more reasons why our oceans are important are life, human activities, and energy. Our oceans are home to an incredible diversity of life. Scientists think there could be more than 2 million species living in their waters, from tiny plankton, which form the foundation of many ocean food chains, to the biggest creature that has ever lived, the blue whale. Billions of people around the world rely on the oceans for their jobs and food. Fish and seafood forms a major source of protein in our diets, and we use seaweed to make useful chemicals, and even generate energy. The ocean can also provide a number of ways, to generate renewable energy through waves, tides and winds. Our, o our oceans are ch Without the oceans, our planet would be much warmer. Water is really good at storing heat, and there's lots of water it in the oceans. As human activity produces more greenhouse gases, and the Earth's climate is warming, the oceans are absorbing more heat from the atmosphere. In fact, 90% of the excess heat from global warming is being absorbed by the oceans. This might sound like a good thing, but warmer oceans come at a big cost for lots of marine ecosystems. Particularly coral reefs, which are very delicate, and prone to damage from changing temperatures. Our oceans also soak up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Again, this might sound like a good thing, because carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. However, it's changing the chemistry of the oceans in a way, that is a problem for marine wildlife. The seawater is becoming more acidic, which makes it difficult for sea creatures, such as light plankton, mollusks and coral, to build their shells and skeletons. Our actions are putting the health of our oceans at risk. Air pollution and poisonous waste from things like pesticides, sewage, plastics and metals, end up in the oceans and coastal waters. With the oceans doing so much for our planet, 
and billions of people rely on them for food and jobs, we need to return the favor and do something for our oceans. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share, and hit the bell icon to get notified for upcoming videos.